Good afternoon once again and welcome to Sunday Bubble! That's right, my name is Nate, you're listening to Sunday Bubble here on GFN 98.7 FM. I am so, so excited to be here today. We are at a high school today. I have not been at a high school for a while, so oh, wow, I'm excited to be here. We are at a high school in Bongsandong in Guangzhou, and this is a very special, very unique high school. So everybody, let's tell them, where are we today? That's right, we are at Lincoln House Guangzhou School, which is here in Bongsandong. It is an alternative high school, very unusual situation here. And the students are mostly actually not from Guangzhou. Their hometowns are spread around Korea. And they come here to Guangzhou to learn at this school. It's an alternative school. And everybody lives in a dormitory here. They looks like they're having a great time. And they study English very, very hard. I know that they have been overseas. They've done a lot of English study. They have native English speaking teachers here. And they do a lot of different programs. It's actually very alternative. I'm a little bit jealous, actually. So we have a couple of students coming up. They're going to tell us some more about the school, tell us some episodes, and introduce more about Lincoln House Guangzhou School. Please give them a warm welcome. Are you ready? We are Lincoln. Lincoln. And Lincoln. President Lincoln, strong mind, pure heart to take care of others. We are learning the spirit of Lincoln to become leaders with a clean heart. I. International. We travel to America, Russia, Philippines, Austria, and England. Meeting new people, learning culture, and, and sharing, sharing our heart, heart through, through English. English. We, we become global students. And never give up. A four-day walkathon. Climbing Halam Mountain. English camp. And English festival. Difficult. But we, we never give up. up. See? Change. Learning self-control. Strong clean mind. Hard to think about others and serve our community. Like a caterpillar becoming a butterfly, we, we are changing, changing inside out. Oh, one! Our differences unite to performing Korean fan dance, taekwondo, and, and other cultural dances, dances from, from around, around the world. And love, living on the world roof, we sharing our hearts, our joys, and even our sorrows. We are family. Lincoln isn't just our school. It's it's our home, and teachers don't just teach. They're our moms, dads, and, and mentors. And now, now we are changing. Now we welcome challenge. Now, now we are preparing, preparing to be global leaders. leaders. I am Lincoln. I am Lincoln. We, we are Lincoln. Lincoln. Welcome, Welcome to Lincoln House Guangzhou School. Now we will see video interviews at Lincoln House Guangzhou School. The Lincoln House Guangzhou School held their second annual English festival. This event was a special educational program to keep pace with globalization. Now we will speak with Hisan and Yongsu to hear more. Can you tell us what is English festival? English festival was a day to present our English research projects. We got in teams of four made booths, and at the festival, we explained our projects to many native English speakers, our parents, and other guests. Everything was done in English. Tell me some of the challenges. There were many challenges, but at the same time, we gained a lot. Through workshop, I learned cooperation, and through meeting foreigners, I gained confidence in speaking English. Um, would you want to do it again? Yes, why not? I'm looking forward to another festival this year. It taught me many things that I couldn't learn in the regular classroom. And mm, we really improved in speaking English and won great prizes. That's great! Tell us about another special program. Mm, oh, our English village was really exciting. For a week, we had to speak only in English, and we had special lectures, missions, and presentations daily. 
That's right. At that time, it felt like I was a foreigner. Oh, really? Why was that? We had to serve a mission in English. Like telling a story, playing tabu, singing, and even dancing. And every evening we had presentations like plays and debates. We wrote our scripts in teams, memorized them, and then put on a show. Oh, sounds like you had fantastic time. It made our heart open to English. So we even saw shy students changing. And now, English is not a burden for me. It was an um, unforgettable memory. Thanks so much. This is Alan Choi reporting for CRS News. And now we have a special news in our studios. Here are Hain and Seungji from the Lincoln House Gwangju School. Let's ask them a few questions. What was your most memorable event in Lincoln House Gwangju School? My most memorable event was our trip to the USA. Yeah, me too. Why did you go there? I wanted to run English and science thing. Where did you go? What did you see? We went to Niagara Falls, Statue of Liberty, Universe Studios, CNN, and uh, Lincoln Memorial. And don't forget, we saw Broadway musical Phantom of the Opera and went to cool museums. Wow, how long did you stay? Uh, we stayed for one month. And how did you learn English? Well, we ran all along the way. And we also had a 10-day English program at Mannheim University in New York. Great! How was it? It was awesome! Scavenger Hunt was my favorite part. Definitely! Scavenger Hunt? What's that? Uh, we went to Manhattan. There we received missions. We had to solve the mission in order to get a clue to the next place we should go. The missions were pretty difficult, so we had to ask around for help all in English. And actually, we had to go without money. All we had was some mail. Wow, that sounds fun! For the last mission in Scavenger Hunt, we had to walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. It was so much fun. And we got to see all the famous places in Manhattan that day. Thanks so much. That's it for our special news interviews with the Lincoln House Gwangju School students. This is Aaron Choi reporting for GLS News. Back to you, Nate. Wow, great job everyone. That's one of the most unique presentations that we've had in news format. I really learned a lot. And for those of you listening, they actually were having a slideshow while they were doing that, showing pictures of them uh, going around the USA, talking to foreigners, following the map. And it looks like quite an interesting scavenger hunt. I think it would have been a lot of fun. Coming up next is a very important guy here at the school, and that is your principal. Please give a warm welcome to Principal Ee In Hugh. Hello. In 1897, American President Andrew Johnson bought Alaska. But many people said that he bought a useless icebox. But today, nobody called this rich land useless. After discovering hidden petrol, natural gas, and oil. It became a gold box. Our students have hidden potential, like Alaska. We hope for them to develop their ability and become great leaders of the future. In our school, students don't just learn in the classroom. We offer them a variety of learning opportunities here and abroad. We believe that opening their mind to the world makes them global citizens. I am thankful to meet GFN and I believe that this experience will make them develop even more. Thank you.
Thank you very much, sir. We are happy to meet you as well. I'm very happy to be here. We're going to move on to kind of the main part of the show, starting off with some music. We have a big group of students coming up. They're going to treat us to a song. Please give them a warm welcome. Okay, so I have a large group of students up here with me. They're very colorful. So let's meet them. To introduce them is one of the students. Go ahead, tell us what's your name? Our team name is Group Singer. The team name is Group Singers. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Myungchul. Myungchul, okay. And what song did you prepare for us today? We, we prepare uh, Keep Holding On by Avril Lavigne. Uh. Yes, Keep Holding On by Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne. Okay, and I noticed that you guys are wearing some very colorful shirts. We have yellow, red, green, blue. What is the reason for wearing such colorful shirts? Uh, because bright color uh, gives the people happiness. That is, that is true. It's nice to see some bright colors up here. Bright colors make people happy. Here we have the group singers with Keep Holding On. <laughs> Perfectly, yeah, 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 yeah. 
The next part of our show is something we do every week. That is our trivia quiz. The trivia quiz teams are coming up and they look pretty excited, so let's get to it. So up here on stage, we have three teams here for the trivia quiz. They look pretty excited. Let's get to it and meet our first team. What is your team name? Goal. Team name is Goal. And who are the members of Team Goal? I'm Soyan. I'm Ju. Okay, and I saw them practicing earlier. They have a team cheer, I think. So let's hear it. What is the Team Goal team cheer? Let's go, let's go, go in! Okay, so Team Goal, the team in the middle. What is your team name? My team name is Sunshine. Sunshine. Okay, and who are the members of Team Sunshine? I'm Kyung Chan. I'm Eran. Okay, and what is your team cheer? <laughs> you are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy. You make me too. We are sunshine. <laughs> Okay, it's not very often that we get a musical team cheer. It's nice when we do. Thank you very much, Team Sunshine. And the final team over here, what is your team name? Tomorrow. Team Tomorrow. And who are the team members of Team Tomorrow? I'm Eunsun. I'm Yang Tae. Okay, and they also have a team cheer. I'm excited to see this. What is your team cheer? T O M O I R O W. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Woo. <laughs> okay, and for our listeners, they had some actions going along with that. The two of them together formed all the letters of tomorrow, T-O-M, etc. So here we have our trivia quiz. The way this works is I ask the questions, and they have to say their team name to give the answers. We're going to start off with some trivia about the USA. Earlier in the show, they mentioned that they all took a trip for about a month to the USA. So I thought, hmm, we'll ask some trivia about the USA. So we're going to start off with what should be an easy question for the students at this school especially. Hint, hint. What is the name of the 16th U.S. president? Sunshine. Yes, Team Sunshine. Lincoln. That's right, Abraham Lincoln, 16th president. <laughs> here at Lincoln House Gwangju School. Next question about the USA. You visited this city where these buildings were. There were two very, very tall buildings that fell down several years ago. They were crashed into. What is the name of those buildings? Goal. Yes, Team Goal. Manhattan. Okay, they're in Manhattan. What is the name of the Sunshine. buildings? Yes, Team Sunshine. New York. Okay, the city is New York, the borough is Manhattan, the two tall buildings. What is wow, the name? Wow. Yes, tomorrow. World Trade Center. That's right, the World Trade Center. Okay, the USA is a very, very large country. How many states are there in the USA? Tomorrow. Team Tomorrow. 50. There are 50 states, that's correct. Now, 48 of those states are all connected together. There are two states that are not connected. What are their names? Tomorrow. Team Tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Alaska and Hawaii. That's right, Alaska and Hawaii. <laughs> Team Tomorrow doing pretty well over there. Sunshine, Goal, you guys okay? <laughs> okay, just checking. You did take a trip, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Uh, this one should be pretty easy, I hope. What is the capital of the USA? The capital city. Tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Team Wa Tomorrow. Washington. Mm, I think I'm going to give it to another team. It's not the full name. Oh. It's Washington. Yes? Washington, D.C. Yes, Team Goal, Washington, D.C. <laughs> it's always nice to spread the points around. Now, also in New York City, there's a very, very famous landmark. It's a statue of a woman. What is the name of that statue? Uh, sunshine. Yes, Sunshine. Yeah. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty, yes. Uh, bonus point, follow-up question. What country is that a gift from to the USA? Anybody Goal. know that? Yes? France. Wow, Team Goal, nice job. 
France. And last question, we'll make this, ah, it's just worth one point. There are two countries that border the U.S. on the north and south. What countries are they? The border, the USA on the north and the south. The three countries that make up North America. We have USA and hmm and hmm. Tomorrow. Canada. <laughs> yes, team, tomorrow. Canada and Mexico. That's correct. Canada and Mexico. <laughs> team, tomorrow. Not always very confident on the mic, but doing well with the answers. Let's do a quick score check. How we're doing here, we've got goal and sunshine with two apiece, but tomorrow is on top with four. So we still have a couple questions to go. Let's move on to some more kind of general knowledge questions. What is the fastest land animal? What's the fastest animal on land? Tomorrow, cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, team, tomorrow it is cheetah. Nice job, cheetah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> What is 1,000 meters? What is the word for 1,000 meters? Goal. Yes, team goal. One kilometer. That's correct, one kilometer. <laughs> Good job, team goal. Now, in the USA, they use miles. They don't use kilometers. Is a mile longer or shorter than a kilometer? Sunshine. Yes. Longer. That's right, a mile is longer than a kilometer. Nice job, Sunshine. Sunshine. 